Oh, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel to another fan TV, man. Back after another video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on all the videos. And we're gonna talk about day two of Ravens training camp, man, right here, all right? So, uh, so two things right off the bat that I forgot to mention in yesterday's video that I think is important to, you know, where the Ravens could be going right now. Um, Salah, the rookie from Oregon, it was getting first team reps at left guard yesterday. Obviously, it's an open competition. So, John Harbaugh is very serious about Salah being in the mix because he was getting them, them kind of reps. So, that's that's cool to see. We'll see what happens with that. Also, Brandon Stevens is playing that big nickel role as of yesterday as far as getting that uh, rep where Kyle Hamilton was last year. Uh, you know, Kyle Hamilton's going to be playing a more traditional safety kind of role this year for the Ravens. But that's where Brandon Stevens was yesterday. So, all right. Well, you know, we said that's one of the uh, more interesting competitions of this camp and I bet, i'm sure a lot of players will get going to get some uh some time in there at nickel to see who can overall really win that job okay all right injury so the injuries really haven't changed too much okay so he's still the same guys on the pup list you know dobbins ricard bateman bowser pepe um makai polk who was signed from the giants like two days ago he was active for the first time and jordan swan undrafted free agent cornerback he uh, left practice yesterday, did not return today, so he's still out. And one, only one new injury, that was wide receiver Tyreek Black. He um, Apparently, he was having a, a decent practice, but ended up getting injured at the end of the practice um, and left with the training staff, and they said with a lower back injury, it seemed to be. We'll see what happens with that, all right? Now, offensively, right? All right, the story of the day is... Um, it's one of those days I talked about in my expectation videos. The offense struggled, okay, and and exactly where they struggled that was in the red zone. All right, the defense clamped up in the red zone on the offense today. Um, so let's go with Lamar Jackson. Um, he completed one pass to Nelson Aguilar with Marlon Humphrey in coverage uh, for a TD in the red zone. Uh, I only have Lamar Jackson. They said that he went one for three. He could have had more than that, but. Overall, the offense went one for nine in the red zone. So Lamar Jackson was the only one to complete a pass. He only completed one pass in the red zone. Uh, Josh Johnson and Tyler Huntley both went over in the red zone. So first, second, and third team defense pretty much blanked the Ravens offense today in the red zone. So that's that's pretty big news. But Tyler Huntley did have a highlight play today. He had a big 45-yard touchdown on 11 on 11 to Charlie Kohler. So that's that's cool to see, especially from Charlie Kohler's perspective. Uh, we're expecting to see, I won't say a lot more, but I don't know how much more we're going to see at Kohler this year, but we definitely more than we saw last year. So we can say that at least. Um, as far as second team and third team receivers, Proche, Wallace, Tyreek Black, as we mentioned before, he went down with the injury, all had a handful of catches today, right? So um, now I know I mentioned before my expectation videos that Duvernay being forgotten and um, – Proche and Wallace are in that same kind of mix, right? That's forgotten receivers. Uh, but both guys who have been here for a while, I think this is Proche's fourth year. This is Tyler Wallace's third year. So um, they know the Ravens. Obviously, they're still new to the system. But they certainly had good good days of practice today, all right? Um, likely in Cola. We mentioned Cola had a long, a long catch. So did uh, Isaiah Likely, apparently. I don't know who it was from. And um, running back news, Keaton Mitchell, undrafted free agent um, running back, had a handful of catches today, uh, really active in the passing game. Um, and that's something that he could do, right? He's a blazer, one of the fastest running backs in last year's draft. Um, obviously didn't get drafted, but um, he has he's real, he's a real game changer. He's so he's one of these guys where when it comes to preseason and guys who I want to see who I'm interested in how they play, Keaton Mitchell is one of those guys at the top of the list because uh, I know the Ravens signed Melvin Gordon and we know they have Justice Hill, J.K. Dobbins, uh, uh, Gus Edwards, we know all of this, but um, Keaton Mitchell has a different kind of explosiveness and speed that those guys simply don't have. Um, not to say that, you know, JK or Gus are slow, but uh, Keaton Mitchell is like extremely fast. It's a little bit different, right? Um, so we, he had a handful of catches today. Uh, we'll see if that turns into anything, right? Especially with JK Dobbins missing a, this is two days in a row now. So, uh, whatever's going on, JK Dobbins is still ongoing. So we'll see what happens from there. All right. Now, defensively, like I said, they had the defense was the star of the show today, man. Um, uh, Adafi Owe, he caused Lamar Jackson to overthrow a pass in the red zone by jumping up in the air. Uh, Lamar Jackson was targeting Mark Andrews in the goal line, but because of Adafi Owe being in the way, he air melded it. Um, Laquan, Treadwell, Laquan Treadwell, excuse me, struggled in the red zone versus Ardarius Washington and uh, Corey Mayfield Jr., who was a uh, undrafted free agent. Um, Apparently they were in the red zone. This is back. These are two reps, and this is a jump ball scenario. So, um, 
he couldn't win him, you know, which is kind of concerning for him. I'm going to be quite honest with you. Uh, Adarius Washington is 5'8". Uh, Corey Mayfield Jr. is 5'10". Laquan Treadwell is 6'2". All right. Now, that's not the only thing that matters when it comes to jump off scenarios. Of course not. But being a experienced receiver, a physical receiver, those are the kind of battles that you are expected to win. So Laquan Treadwell, if he wants to have a real shot of making this team, making this roster as far as the 53, um, these are these kind of battles he has to win. Simple, simply put, he has to win these kind of battles. Um, but Adarius Washington, uh, he won the red zone. And just to read back, point out is actually that Adarius Washington had a good day today overall. I mentioned out there as watching as one of these guys to watch out for um, as a nickel cornerback contention. I firmly believe that he can play that role. Uh, listen, Brandon Stevens is a good option if the Ravens want to go back with the same kind of defense that they had last year, where they play a three safety kind of look, which Mike McDaniel loved at Michigan. Sorry, Mike McDonald. I said Mike McDaniel. Mike McDonald, which he loved at Michigan, and he did it a lot last year as well. They want to go back to that. Obviously, Brandon Stevens makes sense. Um, Aldez Washington technically is a safety too, but he's a little bit of a different profile, you know, five, eight, a little quicker. Brandon Stevens is a little, is a lot bigger than Aldez Washington, but he can still play that role. So I'm interested to see if he can build on these days and keep stacking them. All right. Um, so we talked about Tyler Huntley having the, the big touchdown to Kolar, like 45 yard touchdown. Apparently on the very next play after that, he threw an interception to Jaquan Amos, who was another undrafted free agent. Um, so up and down day for Huntley overall, it seems like. Up and down day for the offense in general. Uh, really more, probably more of a down day, honestly, for the offense, okay? Uh, like I said before, uh, Darius Washington had a standout day and that the defense overwhelmingly won in the red zone today. Um, the rest of the field, I'm not sure about, but uh, the main takeaway was the defense was not playing in the red zone today. And look, these kind of days do not bother me. Um, like I said, I mentioned in the expectation videos, there will be plenty of days where the offenses struggle. It will be, and it will be days like yesterday where the offense was pretty good. You know, the defense had a couple of interceptions, but the offense was generally, from what the people were saying, was pretty good yesterday. Uh, but today, defense had their number. It's going to be like that. It's going to be that back and forth kind of thing. And that's how you should want it, right? If the Ravens are going to be a team that has aspirations of going far, it can't be a one side of the fair. Both sides have to be able to pull their weight. And um, they have the offense and the defense to do it. Uh, so, uh, struggling in the red zone today, to me, it, it, it happens, right? To me, what I want to look at, I want to be positive and be like, I like what I'm hearing about the defense. That's what I want to hear about, right? This is year two of Mike McDonald. Um, defense is going to be comfortable. They're going to be more grooving on what they're supposed to be doing out there. And uh, usually, I've said this before as well, um, the defense usually catches on a little bit faster than the offense, right? That's that's just generally how it goes. So I'm happy about that, right? Um, also, one thing that I, I, I was going to do a whole video about it, but I, I ended up getting busy today, but Lamar Jackson talked about that he's not wearing a wristband in practice, right? So if you've seen Lamar Jackson over the years, he always wears a wristband during practice, during the games. And pretty much Ty Munkin is challenging Lamar Jackson to remember, uh, memorize the plays. Let me not talk too fast. Memorize the plays without the wristband right now um, so that he can call it and haul it, as he says, and um, be at the line, know the plays. I guess he's worried the plays can be a little lengthy and uh, get it down. Lamar Jackson, obviously, he's been studying hard. I have no doubt that he'll get it down. Uh, it doesn't seem to be a problem as of right now or anything like that, but I think that's a nice mental challenge to say that, look, I think that you can do this, and uh, I'm putting you up to the challenge for that, right? Because players respond to coaches that they feel give them more on their plate and respect their ability, right? I feel like that's what Todd Munkin is doing. He respected LeBron Jackson's ability mentally to get it down and say, hey, look, man, I trust you to call the plays and be the general on the field. Now, Lamar Jackson did say that when it comes to the regular season, he doesn't know if he'll go without the wristband. He might wear it during the regular season. Uh, but right now, it's kind of, I guess, more of a training technique right now. So um, I thought that was a little interesting little tidbit that I, that I heard about from earlier today. So, um, but listen, I'll leave it at that. Um, the Ravens had a, you know, good practice day. It's, it's hot. So I know the, I know, I know they, was, they, they was working out there. It's hot as hell. Uh, but the defense dominated, red zone in particular. And uh, our Darius Washington had a standout day. Odafi Way was apparently pretty good today as well. And, um, yeah, man, that's, that's your Ravens news for today. Comment anything down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to all the videos, man. We coming on every day. So um, tomorrow will be, will be day three, and I actually I'll be there in person, so I'll be able to see it for myself, all right? So y'all have a great day. Uh, but it's Gabriel, just another fan TV. I'm out.